So the next section down that I want to talk about is the draft setting. So I'm going to actually get rid of what I have on the screen here. Go back to just the sketch. So there's a draft option down here. And when you do that, you can have, there's a couple different options you can select from, but you can put a draft on the side of your extrusion. So let's just do, uh, instead of none, we'll do from start limit. So from start limit starts your draft from wherever your extrusion starts. So right now my extrusion starts at the base of the part here, down at the same plane as my sketch. If I change that, so if I start the extrusion up a little ways, it starts the draft there. So at a half inch up, the bottom of my part is still the exact same shape as my sketch profile. Okay, so that's how it controls it. It, measures, it starts measuring it from the start distance. If we change that to from section, you can see now, if I look down at the top of it, my profile of my part is a little bit smaller. So what it's doing is it's starting the 10 degree taper down here at the profile and then continuing it up. So wherever it comes across the part there, that would be 10 degrees out from that sketch curve. Okay, so there's some different ways you can control the draft. You can put negative numbers in for draft also. You can have it taper the opposite direction. So depending on what your extrude direction is and what the taper you need it to have is, um, you can change it based off of that by doing negative and positive uh, numbers. There's another option here for multiple. And that lets you select different draft angles from different uh, edges of your part. So you can see I can change. So I have two degrees on all of them. For that one, I can change it to five degrees. And if I scroll down the list here, I can find other edges and I can change them as well. So you have the option to put different uh, draft angles on different areas of your extrusion. All right, the next section down is uh, an offset command. And for that one, uh, you can take a profile. So I'm gonna change this just to do the outside of my sketch. And do a couple different types of offsets. So the first one is single-sided. If I wanted that to be 0.1 larger than the sketch profile, I can put in that number. I can make it a negative number also, or you can drag the arrow on the screen out here. But either way, you see that it's just doing a single offset from the profile. I can do a two-sided uh, offset, which lets me control the distance from the profile on two sides of my extrusion. So now I have a hollowed out extrusion that is offset from that profile two different values. So if you want it to stay on that value, you can set one at zero and have the other one be 0.5 or 0.6 or whatever it needs to be, or you can have it go in a little ways. Now, if you wanted it to be even inside and outside of your sketch profile, there is a symmetric uh, option. So we can make that 0.2 offset both directions from my uh, sketch profile. Okay, so you can see that's hollow and uh, it's using the sketch to control it. So I've got a little part that I'm gonna show you guys next uh, on where you might use that as a good reason Uh, I'm going to do a little quick example of another part uh, shape that I've been using for quite a while to do some extrude uh, examples. So what I'm going to do with this part, though, is show you how I've made this part 
uh, with essentially one sketch that controls the shape of the entire part. So I'm going to bring that up here a second and show it, go through the creation methods and it shows you what uh, I can use that offset command for a little bit. So here's the sketch for that part. Uh, I've already got it all sketched out. So now when I go to create this, I'm going to do a couple different extrusions to create the different areas of the part. So uh, with this part, I know all the different areas are just offsets of the original profile. So that makes it pretty easy to do. I'm going to change this to feature curves. And I'm actually going to extrude it down. And reverse direction here. And that part is, I think, 1.5 tall. And just create that. The next thing I'm going to do is create that flange that went around with all the holes in it for the bolts to hold the parts together. Uh, so again, I'm going to use the sketch. And I'm going to extrude that down also. And that flange is supposed to be point, uh, 0.175 thick. And it's supposed to be offset at uh, 0 0.65. So I'm going to do my offset. I'm going to do a two-sided offset. And you'll see why in a second. So I'm going to do 0 0.65 offset, zero for my start offset. And I want to do no Boolean. I don't want to unite them together yet. I'll show you why here in a second. So I'm going to hit OK. Um, after that, on that part, I just did a simple edge blend down here. And then I did a shell command on the first extrusion to give it its thickness. And then I can unite the flange to the part. And then the uh, ring, the recess around the inside for the gasket was just another offset of the original sketch. So I go back and extrude the original sketch, extrude it down. And then uh, the offset for that, it was supposed to be, I'm going to do a single sided offset for that one. And uh, it was in negative 0 0.05. And this time I'm going to subtract it when I create it. And I made it too thick, but you get the idea. So there's that part, 75% done with just one sketch in it uh, that controls pretty much the entire shape of the part. Putting the holes in is just another uh, single extrusion, ex subtraction with a pattern. So anyway, uh, you can see how you can use one sketch and use some of the different options in the extrude command to make a lot of different uh, parts of your model uh, in one Op or just in a couple operations instead of repeating doing this another sketch and doing an offset curve and all that uh, you can do all of it pretty much from the extrude command in most cases uh, so hopefully that helps clear up some of the things you can do with extrude that maybe you didn't know uh, and if you got any questions please post them in the uh, comments below and as always try and if you want to see some more of these videos hit uh, Subscribe and we will keep doing uh, some NX videos for you guys. Thanks.